Hello and welcome back to Pico TV. Today we're announcing the release of the LK215 West Highland Line Rannoch Station and the LK216 Platform Mounted Signal Box, which adds to our range of new line side laser cut Scottish Highland kits. This interesting station building is on the West Highland Line between Glasgow and Fort William, and to accompany the station, the signal box, which unlike the one found at Arasaig, is situated on the platform and indicative of island platforms in that region. Now when building this kit I would like to recommend the Pico Tools Kit Builders toolset, the PT200, which has all the tools you need to build these kits. And just like with Arasaig, our paints have been provided by Rainbow Railways and we will be using these colours plus these glues to assemble the kit. Now to start off we're going to build the LK216 West Highland Lines platform mounted signal box. Jeff lays out the single sheet in order to build the kit and then he starts to remove the components he needs first to begin. For the first part of the build you're going to need to have the kit upside down and use the base of the roof to attach the inner walls. Next attach the stub bricks to the base of the window seals onto the outer wall sections and paint the brickwork and the window frames. Then attach the outer wall sections to the corresponding inner walls and when the glue has dried attach the concrete base to the bottom of the brickwork. Then Jeff attaches the doors and the window seals. Next he takes the plastic packaging and uses it to create the glazing for the windows and cuts it into the sizes he needs and fits them into position. Then Jeff joins the laminated roof components together to form the roof joists and then attaches them to the ceiling of the signal box. Then he adds green paint to the edge of the roof base to emulate the guttering and paints each triangular roof section before attaching them to the building. And then to finish off, he fits the downpipe. And there we have it. The station mounted signal box is ready to be fitted onto the diorama. We now have to start building Rannoch Station. Now, as you can see, this is quite a complicated looking kit, but I assure you there's just lots of components. It's no more difficult than Arasaig or even the signal box we've just built. But I would recommend cutting out the components as you go and keeping the sheets in order to help with finding the required component. So it's not complicated, it's just quite big. To start off, Jeff begins assembling the bay window units and once they've been put together he uses some wood filler to fill in the joints before painting them. Then Jeff begins to assemble the side walls and attaches their outer laminates. He works on each wall separately and continues painting as he goes. Then he brings the two bay windows and the three wall sections together to complete one long side of the building and repeats the process with the second. Then Jeff attaches the window seals and the bases to the bottoms of the wall sections and this helps with extra rigidity and strengthens each wall. Then again, Jeff uses the packaging to create the glazing for the windows and attaches them to the back of the walls. However, if you're not painting your building as you go, it's not recommended to add the glazing until the end. Next is the wall assembly. This is the section of the build where we bring the internal walls and the external walls together to form the structure of the building. After Jeff has assembled the two long walls together via the internal dividing walls, he adds the end walls to the structure. Once the glue has dried, he then begins the roof assembly. Jeff fits the parts 31 and 32 on the tabs of each end of each wall and repeats this on both ends. And then adds part 33 to the center areas of each roof section. We are using hair clips to hold parts of the building together whilst we wait for the glue to dry. Next, 
Jeff begins fitting the roof joists, followed by the canopy, which slots underneath each end of each joist. Next, Jeff fits the canopy ends, part 36, and attaches the roof ridge, parts 38 and 39. followed by the corner laminates and cross beams. The cross beams create extra rigidity in the roof and make the whole structure much more rigid and should be glued to all contact points. Now Jeff paints the edges of the canopy to give the impression of guttering and then proceeds with adding the roof tile sections and then gives the roof a final coat of paint. He then attaches the downpipes and the three chimney stacks, plus the chimney pots. Then it's ready to be placed on the diorama. So I present to you our interpretation of Rannoch Station. All the items you see here are available from Pico, such as the ballhead rail, the PSG 311 brown ballast, and the Wills SSMP233 tactile platform paviers, and the Ratio 520 platform ramps. So, what's stopping you from building your own Scottish Highland inspired layout? So, until the next time, happy modelling! Thank you.